Welcome to a rather belated July vlog. What I want to talk about today, what I want to explore is this idea that I mentioned in a blog post last week of uh, three style words that we can uh, identify and use to help us choose outfits, get dressed, analyze why things look good or don't look good on us, sometimes why we should purchase an item, a new piece or an item or whatever and or not purchase it because it doesn't fit in with what we've identified as our personal style. I've been on a personal style journey since I retired. So I've been trying to figure out how does my changing body and my lifestyle and my hair and all that stuff affect how my personal ch style is changing because it is changing. So I've been looking at the three words that I might use to define my personal style. Okay, so the first thing I did um, was do my research. I always do my research. And I started looking at some of the YouTubers. I've mentioned them before on my blog. I like their style ideas, their thoughts about style, their, uh, what they, their ethics around style and how they analyze style. So the first one was Alyssa Bell Tempo. I looked at her videos on uh, how she uses this three word um, rule, how she's defined her own three words for her personal style and suggestions for what, what we can do to define ours. And I'll put the links uh, in the description box below this video and I'll also put them on the blog post. I also read a number of articles. Um, the three word rule, as I mentioned in my blog post last week, is not, it's not a new thing. I found a really interesting article on a site called Couverture, Couverture? I think it, it's Couverture. Um, and uh, one of the things that they said in the article, I thought that this was a really good premise from which to start my, uh, my own journey. Clothing is a tool of communication, of expression. What we choose to wear says something about who we are. And even the act of choosing not to care sends a message. Um, uh, yeah. Um, so what does your clothing communicate about you? What does my clothing communicate about me? And what do I want it to communicate? And as I mentioned in my video last month, I want it to communicate the person I am now and not who I used to be. So that's kind of why I'm looking for um, my three words to define my current personal style. I also looked at, um, tried to find Alison Bornstein's latest um, videos, but she's not doing much on YouTube these days. So I did track her down on uh, TikTok and she has some really good videos and I'll, I'll link her account below so you can access those. And um, on Alyssa, one of Alyssa's videos, there was a mention of Amy Smilovic, Smilovic uh, who's the founder of the fashion brand Tibby. I really, really like Tibby clothes, although I can't really afford them, uh, but I like the style aesthetic. Um, yeah, so I listened, I watched, I took notes, and uh, I did some reading. And now we are going to begin the adventure of trying to identify my three style words. So let's just get started. I'm really familiar with the way that Alison Borstein uh, does her closet edit. Well, identifying your regulars, those are the things that <clears throat> you wear a lot, you reach for all the time and you love. But I also liked what Amy Smilovic Smilovic, Smilovic. She talks about a uh, kind of a different way and sometimes just the way words spin things that it makes it easier for you to, to follow a process. So she talks about uh, WOFs, so your without fails. Those are the things that are create or form the bulk of your closet. And she says, because they form the bulk of your closet, they create the basis for your personal style. She says WOFs are things that you are wholeheartedly comfortable in and wear the most and purchase multiples of. So I'm going to have a quick look at what my without fails are. Maybe you can guess. What have we got? 
jacket, 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 and a jacket. Lots of jackets. Most of them are classic blazer styles. This so the shirts, shirts, shirts are the four, cotton shirts, and sweater drawer. I've been trying to store my t-shirts like that. So I've got long sleeve t-shirts, short sleeve t-shirts, and my Everlane tank tops. Sweaters. One of them is a hoodie. One I only wear around my shoulders. I'm not going to go into the shoes very much, but uh, let's just say I have a couple pairs of white sneakers, three pairs of loafers, flat sandals, flat sandals, and of course ankle boots. I guess you could say that my without fails comprise most of my closet in my drawers. There's a couple pieces I've been editing out because I haven't been wearing them. And there's a couple of shorter jackets that I haven't been wearing, uh, <clears throat> spring jackets, and I may edit those out. So Amy also talks about uh, a second category called uh, your had to haves and had to haves. And she says those are things with but you really, you know, they might be more on trend, they might be statement pieces, things that are, um, as she puts it, um, not necessarily timeless, but you just love, love, love them. And I don't think I'm much of a statement piece person, though. Although I will say that that oversized uh, cream and navy striped um, sweater I bought last winter from Koss. And it may be one of the things that's in Amy's third category, which she calls in and outs. Those are things more trend driven that you buy to kind of pump up your without fails. So maybe that sweater would be one of those. I mean, I, <clears throat> I bought it to wear, I like it with my white pants and my, which are timeless for me, white jeans and my navy um, anorak and it makes the whole outfit maybe a bit more current so maybe that's an in and out anyway I'll, I'll, I'll have to think about what I could classify as an in and out <laughs> ins and outs in my closet so so I'm not sure if I'm any further ahead um I looked at all my clothes I, I didn't really have to do that count I mean I know what's in there um but I need to see them in combination. I need to see the outfit on me or maybe a, an aspirational outfit on a on someone else that I've pinned a, a picture of to see how I would describe it, how I would classify, not the outfit, but my personal style. How would I wear that striped t-shirt or that um, very classic beige? Um, Max Mary jacket. So speaking of how I would wear something and what I'm wearing, I'm going to use what I'm wearing today as an example. So what do I have on? I have on this Everlane striped tank that I bought last summer. I think it was last summer. Um, a navy uh, v-necked light cashmere sweater from Vince. I'm going to put you down here. Um, my white straight leg jeans from frame. I tried rolling them up a little bit differently. You can see the wider roll. And my new Beja sneakers. This might come to a bit of a surprise to you and probably to people who've known me for years but I'm not entirely comfortable in this outfit. Like, I like it. It's it's good, it looks good together, the navy and the white, the white, the navy, but it feels a little bit too precious for me now. I, I don't know, too obvious? So that's what I mean about my style changing. Like, this outfit is with the straight leg jeans rolled up, 
um, very preppy, I'd say, and I'm not sure I'm preppy anymore. So one of the other things that I've done is in doing my homework was Alison had suggested uh, creating a personal style mood board. So what I did was, I did this this morning when I was on my exercise bike. I love doing Pinterest when I'm on my exercise bike. I created this personal style mood board. So I'll show you some of the looks. So hopefully you can see that, that are on here. Some of these are looks that I have worn, like the white theory jacket, straight leg jeans. Um, maybe back in the day, I would have worn that with a slim fitting top under it. Now I like it with the baggy shirt under it. <clears throat> Similarly over here, the, um, uh, my dress pants, my white sneakers, a quite, quite loose sleeveless tank and my theory white jacket. This was one that was a big favorite for me this spring so far. Um, the white pants I have on now, not rolled up with my black um, Birkenstocks, but that really, really baggy um, Koss shirt. So that to me is more me now than what I have on. Um, this one too, uh, I like a lot. I, I wore that for the first time last year, but I like the baggy pants with the, uh, with the tank and the slimmer jacket. So yeah, so these are some of the things that I like. Lots of stripes in there, eh? I seem to be really into the stripes. Classic jackets, obviously. Um, sweaters worn around the shoulders. That's a very preppy look, but I think you can wear it in a oh, maybe more unexpected kind of way. And the suit with the t-shirt and the sneakers, which is a look I love love and I have been loving for several years now. So, I mean, if I look at the pictures that I've chosen here, really, one of the words that comes to mind for me is classic. Okay, so one of the other things that I did was I went on TikTok and checked out Allison's um, short videos that she's made uh, <clears throat> about the three word process. And what she did was she took a bunch of famous people uh, style icons and celebrities and things. And she uh, tried to determine what she thought their three words were. So yeah, I went on TikTok. If you want to check out Allison's uh, little videos on there, I would highly recommend them. They are so useful. She's, she's really good. So here's what she said about herself. She said that she was classic 70s and elegant. So th that's what she thought her own three words were. Some of the other ones, um, uh, people that you might know, obviously Duchess of Cambridge, Kate. She said Kate was classic, preppy, and polished. You'll notice that they're all classic. So that, that was the point of this little uh, video that she made. She was showing how different people with different style can all have classic as one of their style words. Um, Caroline Bissett Kennedy. I always loved her style. Uh, she's classic, minimal, and elegant. Um, I think minimal might be one of my words, and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Um, this is another one. I think this is Kaya. Oh, I can't think of her last name. She's Cindy Crawford's daughter. Anyway, she's a model now. Classic, sporty, and tailored. Um, I saw a lot of her outfits on there, and even though she's a kid, um, her style really appealed to me. I like the the jeans and the sneakers, and the uh, the very tailored classic jacket. So I found those really useful. Um, I do think classic is one of my words, and I'm beginning to think that minimal is one of my words. And the reason I say that is. <laughs> I always end up taking something off. Um, when I was getting dressed this morning, I put on a, a bigger, like a necklace. I thought I should be able to, like, you know, I like the way people look with little bits of chains and necklaces and stuff. So I put a couple of necklaces on here and I was just like, oh, it's too much, too much. 
Um, even now, I think I have too much jewelry on for me. I'm not sure I'm as minimal as some of the people that I, I saw that um, Allison was classifying as minimal. Um, I don't know whether that's an age thing or, or whatever, and I'm not sure if anything is a hard and fast rule about, you know, you have to be certain thing before you can be classified as this word. But I've always gravitated to a more minimalist style. The 90s, oh, Liz and I went for coffee the other day. We were both saying that we so hope that the 90s are coming back and she's predicting that they are because, um, what was it? Oh yeah, she was saying that, you know, we've done the 70s again, we did the 80s again, now everything is um, bohemian and big and poofy and uh, I actually said to hubby the other day I said I'm, oh, I'm so sick of dresses that look like kitchen curtains <laughs> not that I bought any but I'm sick of seeing them that's just not my style I can't do a ruffle that nah. and a, ru a ruffle is an anathema to me I, I it just looks odd on me so another one of the things I did this week was uh, dig around on the internet and on Pinterest and see if I could find articles and people who were doing this process who provided lists of words from which to choose because it's kind of hard sometimes to pick a word out of thin air. So Allison, where's her list? Um, she created a word bank to help and so she, she grouped them. So things like soft, romantic, sensual, demure, floral. Okay, I'm not any of those. Hard, edgy, sexy, futuristic, tough. I don't think I'm any of those either. Although I can't be tough. Um, well, that was the only one I was marking. Minimal, sculptural, neutral, polished, graphic. Okay, I think I can be a minimal, as I said. Elaborate, global, opulent, colorful, ornate, no. Bohemian, flowy, n -n -n. Classic, yes. Tailored, sophisticated, preppy, elegant. I don't think I'm sophisticated, I don't think I'm preppy, and I don't think I'm elegant. Um, maybe tailored. Sporty, yes. Tomboy, only when I'm fishing. Uh, practical, oversized, casual, yes. Vintage, sometimes I think I hearken back to a 90s look. That's why I love Carolyn Bissett Kennedy's style. She, was, she epitomized the 90s as far as I'm concerned. So moving on, I also went for a walk and then had coffee with uh, my good friend Marina the other day. And um, Marina and I are polar opposites as far as style, body type, um, everything. And so we had a lot of fun talking about the difference between her and me and what she is and what I am. And I was trying to explain that to hubby the other day, and I used as an example, back when we worked together, I remember I came to work and I had a new purse, and, and she was like, oh, Sue, I love that purse. And so I said, here, try it on. And she put it on her shoulder, and we both fell over laughing. It was not a Marina purse. It was definitely a Sue purse. And it's just, it's just interesting. She just, it just was wrong. And that's one of the things that, um, one of these girls that I can't, I'm getting them all mixed up now, was saying was that sometimes knowing what your three words are helps you to figure out why something's not working. Anyway, Marina and I had a, a really interesting discussion about her style versus my style. I'm much more minimal. She's feminine. Uh, and, we, and we actually thought maybe she was a little bit retro, like maybe a little bit 50s because she has that uh, curvy body type that looks fabulous in a fit and flare dress. Sometimes by juxtaposing your style next to someone else's, you can help identify more clearly what you are. It's kind of like when you travel, you know, like um, never does your own culture appear more fully to you as when you're in a country where the culture is very different from yours. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just really interesting. I think it's the same with style. So I don't want to blither on too long about this, but I'm struggling to find my three words. Classic. Yes. 
I don't know if minimal, I mean, if I put minimal, what am I going to come up for my third word? One of the things that um, Alyssa says is to use your third word of how you would modify the other two words. So how you would style. So for, <coughs> excuse me, so for instance, classic and minimal, maybe I could add um, relaxed with that, sporty, casual, um, I don't know. One of the words that Alyssa uses is undone. Like she, she'll wear a classic um, white shirt, but she'll unbutton it or tie it or something like that. Uh, I don't think I'm undone. I don't think I'm that, um, I'm not as edgy as she is. I'm a little bit more conservative. I'm working towards being more loose. Um, so maybe modern, or as Liz said, current. Um, so maybe classic, minimal, and modern, or maybe classic, tailored. Maybe I'm not pared down enough to be considered minimal. Maybe I'm more tailored. I think of tailored as being more formal. But, you know, um, so I'm going to say classic, tailored, slash, minimal, and current or modern. My aspirational words are what Amy Smilovic is, which is she identifies classic, modern, and chill. I am just not comfortable being out there in my fashion choices as somebody who like her who who can just you know she's just so relaxed in everything she wears and I'm not I have to toe the line a little bit more um so yeah I'd love to be chill but I don't think I am so I'm gonna go with classic modern and tailored slash minimal Although that's not what I want to be, you know? I'd like to be edgy and chill. Okay, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope uh, <laughs> you didn't find it too exasperating for me to be once again digging into my closet and trying to uh, find the words to describe my own style. You know what the thing is? I just love being analytical. I mean, when I was teaching, I used to analyze poetry. Uh, now I like to analyze closets and outfits and style. And yeah, so gotta be who I am. And who I am is apparently classic, modern, and minimal slash tailored. And I'm just gonna go with that. So I'll see you next time.